Hey everybody, TPC here. I'm gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna take a look at my new computer. It's something that's uh, geared more towards the uh, budget-minded. I'm not uh, exactly the richest guy in the world, but it's the first time I've had a new computer in a long, long time. That's right, if you're as old as me, you're seeing one of the omnipresent cow boxes from back in the 80s. It's a gateway, but it's uh, got some pretty uh, pretty decent specs for a, uh, a budget-based laptop. Now, first thing you notice is it's a 15.6. It's got the AMD Ryzen 7 processor. It's 8 gigabytes with uh, 512 gigabytes of storage. Comes in charcoal gray. And here's some of the specs. It's 1920 by 1080. Like I said, it's the Ryzen 7 3700U mobile processor with Radeon RX Vega 10 graphics. It's got Windows 11 already installed. Uh, it's got the easy touchpad, fingerprint scanner, 512 storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, two megapixel front camera, which we will be testing. And it says it has up to 10 hours of battery life. All right, we open the box. First thing you see is this box here, which is the power cord, I believe. And then we've got a foamy inside we'll pull out. And the computer itself is well packaged. And I took it out of the anti-static sleeve. And it appears to be uh, very, very thin. I mean, really thin. Open it up. It's got an anti-static uh, piece of foam here on the inside. Nice clean looking keyboard. You can see the fingerprint scanner there. Smooth touchpad. Gonna be interested to see what this does. Got a little quick start book and information book packaged. Come with the computer. Tells you what to do to get it started up, gives you a diagram of everything that's on it. Now on the right side, you've got a USB 3.0, an SD card reader. And a headphone jack. On the left side, you've got a USB-C. You've got an HDMI port. You've got a regular USB 3.0. And you have your little round charging port. You can see on top, you have a continuous speaker running all the way across right under the screen supposedly tuned by THX but it is a laptop speaker so you know it's not going to sound the greatest headphones will usually be recommended nope alrighty we've got the uh Power cord plugged in. We're going to turn it on and do the setup and then we'll come back. The display on this is fantastic. The keys have a real nice tactile feel. The uh, fingerprint scanner is awesome. The, uh, the touchpad is almost too sensitive for my taste. 
but it's very sensitive, very easy to use. And the cursor is easy to follow. It doesn't get lost on the page. I'm uh, actually very, very pleased with this. This isn't a computer you're going to sit down and do real high-end gaming with. But if you're somebody who needs a good computer that's fast and has plenty of storage, plenty of RAM, on a budget at $449, I'll recommend this gateway every time. I've read some of the uh, some of the reviews, and some of the bad reviews are just flat out wrong. I mean, the people who either ha are out to cause problems or just flat out liars. This is an excellent PC. I've had no problems with it, and this is from somebody as you can see. You know, I own this computer. I bought it with my own money. And I'm very pleased. There's nothing not to like about it. Sounds great. Like I said, the uh, the sound bar, you know, is like any other laptop sound bar. It uh, doesn't get real loud, doesn't have uh, great sound. But man, you plug a set of headphones in it and it sounds awesome. Yeah, everything works great. Um... There's just no no downside to it for the price. Anyway, I hope this helps you if you're out looking for a good budget computer. This one's a really, really good one.